exciting thing coming up, and we have Tammy here with us. She is with the Economic Development for Carbon County. Yeah. And you're going to talk about a lot of exciting things in the business world coming to the area. Do you want to tell us a bit about what you've been working on recently? Um, well, let's start with the governor has yes. an initiative for 25,000 jobs in rural Utah, which Love is it. really exciting. Mm -hmm. He wants to achieve that by the end of his term um, before he leaves office. And so to do that, the World Trade Center has, is working with the governor and um, is creating a series of um, different events that mm -hmm. will go on within the counties, mm -hmm. all 25 rural counties. The first one is the 25, uh, 25K Rural Utah, uh, Rural Jobs Launch. I'm yes. sorry, my mind That's is a going, mouthful. it is a mouthful <laughs> and my mind just went blank. Um, with that, when they're be coming to our county August 9th. So they've already gone to five counties. It's, they've been pretty successful. Some have been really fun and laid back um, and s in the park even. But mm -hmm. ours is going to be very focused on businesses and helping our local people to get jobs. So they're bringing in over 25 um, partners such as um, PTAC, which is procurement, right? that businesses can actually get government, mm -hmm. whether it's state or government, federal government contracts. They're bringing in, and, and the World Trade Center obviously will be there. Mm -hmm. So businesses that want to do um, business overseas. And then um, the broadband, the Office of Broadband's coming in. And um, small business development resource centers are gonna be there. So we'll have a, on a state level as well as local level. We'll have. Our local chamber will be there. Whatever we can do to help support the local businesses. I have one company coming up from St. George that's called US, um, USDA Capital. Mm -hmm. And they actually help small businesses to get cap capital funding. Mm -hmm. And when I say it's not just like $100,000, they usually do millions. Oh, wow. So if a company needs some money, um, even up to $50 million, wow. they will, they're, they're a really good resource. If they have everything in order, they'll be able to actually get the loans within three to six months, six weeks. So it's oh, a pretty wow. quick turnaround that quick. for that size of amount of money. And they're guaranteed loans. So 80 or 90% of the loans will be guaranteed by the federal government. Wow. So awesome. that, that it is really helpful for the businesses. I have several businesses that have already contacted this organization and they're helping them currently right here in our county. Oh, great. So that's, that's exciting. exciting. We're waiting to hear if they're gonna get their loans or not. Then at so the same time, so that's a job fair, so right? That, well, and that's, that, will be, that will actually okay. be at USU Eastern uh -huh. in the ballroom. Okay. In that, we'll also have our elected officials. We're inviting them to come uh -huh. in part of a pavilion, so you can come and talk to them, ask questions, um, see what they can do to help your business to grow. But then in the alumni room and out in the corridor, we're having a job fair. Okay. And we already have over 15 companies that are wanting to come be part of, part of the job fair with over 100 jobs that are ready ready wow. now. That's so encouraging yeah. so, because a lot of people might see sort of doom and gloom with some mm -hmm. businesses closing their doors, but it's really just mm -hmm. creating opportunity for other it businesses is. to welcome new employees yeah. it is. and fill the positions they have. It is completely. We're so excited for these businesses to come and to be able to be part of our community. Yes, so. for sure. And when is that taking place? So it's the same time, August 9th from 5 to 7 at night. Okay. And okay. before that, you're going to have a press conference of sorts, is we that are. right? About some exciting things that are happening? We are. Do you know, when you work on economic development, and if you can bring in one business at a time, you're very excited. I've been working hard for three and a half years to bring in business and create relationships. And somehow, I have several all at once they are ready to announce. So we're going to do a press Great. conference. And we have... Um, I'm not even sure how many. We've got one that I'm waiting to hear. It's bringing in over 200 jobs. They're going to be wow. manufacturing. It's going to be high paying, fairly high paying jobs. They're not 40, but they'll start 16 to $20 an hour. That's great. That's great. I've got, it, it is. I've got um, some, some welding, a company that's doing welding. I've got a data center that's coming in. Um, and then in the J.C. Penney building, there's going to be a lot of businesses coming in. Yeah, that was exciting at the last commission meeting. It a is. couple of them come. They did come. 
spoke about what they're going to be doing. So. so they are. So one of the companies, we've applied for an EDA grant. We don't know if we'll get it, but the company that is going to be doing that and running that portion of the JCPenney building is Future in Design. And they actually give a stipend every month to kids, young adults, usually seniors to just graduated from high school mm -hmm. with a year or two, to get their life in order and give them the life skills and work experience that they need. So they teach them That's graphic great. design and coding. They teach them the life skills. They need to be either minority or low income to qualify. And her classes are 25 kids at a time. So she goes out and gets grants that will pay for those kids mm -hmm. to, to integrate within the community. And she doesn't want them to leave. She wants them right here creating jobs. Mm -hmm. she's, so in the process, she's creating internships within the community and then hopefully they'll be able to move into a job. I went to their graduation last week, and out of the graduation, um, it was her first class, so there were only five, mm -hmm. and two of the kids already had really good paying jobs, one oh, with great. Adobe, and um, another one decided she was changing her whole life focus and going to become an architect, so she had already signed up for U of U to go to school. Oh, great. So that's the type of, these are kids that thought they could never do anything more than maybe work in a restaurant, mm -hmm. and now all of a sudden our lives have changed, and we want to do that to our kids. So she'll be bringing that in. Another one is um, Accelerant that brought in, and we worked with Health Equity. They're mm -hmm. going to be doubling or tripling the amount that they need of employees wow. this year. So last year they started with 15, and we ended up hiring 57. This year they're, they're going to hire um, 25, hopefully starting by August 10th, so the day after the mm -hmm. job fair. So if anybody needs a job, get a hold of them quickly or they can get a hold of me. And um, they're expecting to be probably 75 or more jobs to be filled by the time they're finished.